In 2019, Chris, Nigel, and George, three friends from the New Jersey Randonneurs, decided to attempt to ride the 19th edition of Paris Breast Paris together. Here we are at Charles de Gaulle Airport. Chris and Nigel got our bags, arrived successfully. Um, next stop is the Mercure Hotel in Saint Quentin. The ride will begin in the Parisian suburb of Rambouillet. From there, the riders will travel 378 miles to the coastal city of Brest Starts before returning 40, 378 60, miles to the start. Ooh, 80%. Weather yeah, could be an issue. Up, wake up, four, five, For tomorrow? What about Sunday? So tomorrow. Next up, tomorrow. I mean, Sunday. 90% chance of rain. Seriously? Cloudy with rain ending in the air. In 2015, Chris's brother Pete promised to drive an RV and support us if we did the ride. In 2019, Pete and his son Brad are keeping that promise. I said he won. Chance oh. of rain. I recognize him just like Chris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you. I'm waving. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming, coming to our out. rescue. I'll tell you what, it's going to be a hook. <laughs> So, like they, they took it, so this is the German built RV. Oh, I like and it they already. took delivery of it in May. Oh, it's got 14,000 inches before it. Oh, wow. It's Oh, I know where you, where the campers were? Yeah. yeah. So, just past the campers, to the right. Yeah, I told us to start. Oh, that's weird. So in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Okay. There are over 6,000 participants from around the world. BP starts at 6 o'clock today. It's just about 10.30, and outside is a heavy, steady rain falling. A persistent west wind blew away the rain clouds, revealing a sunny afternoon. It's checked out of the Mercure Hotel, all loaded up with bikes and gear for the start of PBP 2019. A few final checks, and we're off. At the start, groups of riders with designated start times leave in waves separated by 15 minutes. George started at 5.45, Nigel started at 6, and Chris rolled out at 6.15. We are in a group that has 90 hours to finish the course. To regroup, Nigel soft pedaled until Chris caught up and then together they rolled forward through French fields and small villages to catch up with George.
The steady wind that blew away the rain would become headwinds and crosswinds all the way to Brest. At, uh, where are we? La Ville Jules. La Ville Jules, 134 miles in, having some delicious uh, French non-breakfast non items. So this not, doesn't even count as first breakfast. This is last dinner. <laughs> The first night and the first day are all about getting to Ludiac. Getting to Ludiac would mean that we completed one third of the course. It was a place to sleep, for a chance to dream. Inevitably, lack of sleep takes its toll. All along the course, the people of Britannia celebrate the arrival of the riders. Riding into the constant headwind added hours to their predicted time. Because Pete is there at the RV, we don't have to wait in line for food.